I am Dr. Neema Bisht, BDS by degree and a pharma professional. Also, I am founder of Career in Pharma, wherein I provide guidance and training to healthcare professionals. I am on a mission to help 1 lakh healthcare professionals to attain financial security through career into clinical research industry. Hello everyone. Once again, I welcome you all to Career in Pharma. So today in this video, I am going to discuss the difference between clinical research and pharmacovigilance. Although these are not the topics which in which I can tell you difference because already they are totally different field. But because of a lot of comment from my audience, I am going to share exactly what they are. So let's begin with the video. So clinical research means clinical trial, clinical trial means testing of any drug, new drug, old drug into humans. So any area of work which is related to clinical trials, if you are working inside clinical research domain, that is clinical related to clinical trial or clinical trial operations will come under clinical trial area or clinical research area, both are same only. Okay, inside this, you can work as a principal investigator, clinical investigator or clinical research coordinator or site monitor or clinical research assistant or clinical diet data management coordinator or clinical trial assistant. So these are all profile names related to clinical research, pure clinical research operations or clinical trial operations designations. Okay where you have to manage depending on your uh, education your uh, profile designation you have to manage everything around you know clinical trial maybe you can work at clinical trial site hospital where clinical trial is going maybe you work with sponsor and you can do remote monitoring of the uh, things where, which are happening at the clinical trial site Maybe you, you work inside clinical data management, managing the clinical trial data, which is coming through clinical trial. Or maybe you work as a principal investigator dealing with live patient, deciding on uh, when the patient dose should be given to patient, clinical trial drug dose should be given to patient, at what frequency, and you, you may have to monitor the patient after giving the clinical trial drug. Or you may review the protocols for that specific clinical trial study. You may review the SOP. So all these are the work, what you will be doing inside clinical trial operation, that is clinical research. And now pharmacovigilance. See, pharmacovigilance is something which comes into picture when any drug is into market after successful completion and approval of clinical trial. Once the drug is in market, that is post-marketing safety, we call as. So anything which is in there when the drug is in market, then whatever we are doing for drug safety comes under pharmacovigilance. That is pharmacovigilance means a continuous watch on a drug. Continuous vigilance on a drug when the drug is in market after successful completion of a clinical trial. Now let's understand what inside pharmacovigilance you have to do and what is the impact. First of all, you may have to do, you know, review of the data containing all patient details, when the drug, when the patient took the drug, what kind of adverse effect, effect happened to the patient or maybe that adverse effect was because of the drug only or maybe patient medical factor present. Yeah, that you have to review, conclude and based on this conclusion, the pharma company will decide the future of the drug when the drug is in market already after successful completion of the trial. Now you must be wondering that already trial happened. Now why this continuous watch is required? See, inside clinical trial, we always have a limited set of population, limited set of data. We have limitations actually. And when the drug is in market for journal public use, then we can keep a watch on the drug. We can assess new side effects. We can, we can uh, you know, encounter new effects which were not which were not able to see in while when the drug is uh, not clinical trial phase. That's why this continuous watch is required. Also, depending on this pharmacovigilance activity, uh, review of the data, 
everything the pharma company decides whether to continue the drug into the market because if any major side effect is happening then the country con- the pharma company will withdraw the drug or ban the drug from market let's say minor side effect is coming then the pharma company will update the leaflet instruction of that drug let's say if you find that the side effect was because of the drug interaction between the com- uh, drug which is in market and other concomitant drug which already the patient was taking in that case the pharma company may update the leaflet that to be taken with precaution with this 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 drug yeah so that way the pharma company may modify the leaflet okay so now uh, i hope that it is clear to all of you that what is clinical research what is pharmacovigilance so first clinical research is required trial is required drug should come in market then only we can do pharmacovigilance i hope it is clear now okay pharmacovigilance possible only when drugs are coming through clinical trial to market when the drug is in market then to make uh, to make it safe for uh, patient use to make it more safe pharmacovigilance activity is required so in short any doctor who is prescribing any drug to any patient that drug is coming to market through successful completion of clinical trial after that successful completion of pharmacovigilance activity where we are ensuring as a pharmacovigilance professional we are ensuring that the drug which the patient is taking is safe and there is no harm yeah so now now, now i hope you understand the chain between how a drug how any doctor is writing a uh, medicine for any patient it is possible because of the clinical trial which is happening at the back end because of the pharmacovigilance activity which makes that drug to be safe in use in the prospective patient okay so i hope now the difference is clear between clinical research and pharmacovigilance and um, we'll be coming soon with some next video uh, please type in the comment box that if difference is clear to you or not and if there's still anything is left i will be coming with that video also so please comment in the chat box because comments from all of you motivates me to make new videos and to make more healthcare professionals aware about this clinical research and pharmacovigilance industry we'll be coming soon with some next video till then please stay safe updated and aware and healthy and please 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 don't forget to subscribe to our channel and if video if this uh, video really Uh, gave you some insights or if you like this video then please 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 like this video also and subscribe to our channel okay till then bye bye all of you have a nice day